this is Lucille and she is awesome. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Paul's DIY and in this one I am going to show you how I made the very beautiful, very sexy Lucille. <laughs> So this is a bad boy that I bought off eBay. You can see he's got the little twizzles there. And that's the brand, Filo Spinato Bad Wire. And then bought it off eBay for a couple of pounds. And I bought two. As you can see there's one there. And then I bought another one there. Like so. And what I'm doing at the moment, the good thing about these is you can unclip these come apart and what I'm doing is I'm just taking all the twists bits off the off one of them and filling in the gaps on the other just to give it that bit more, bit more of a dense feel when it gets wrapped around just so there's not any, not any, um, any empty spaces and obviously these are brown I'm going to give these a spray make them silver or grey just so it's more screen accurate and then with a the bat I'm going to give that a spray with some primer and then paint it a darker brown so that's the next step So I actually got a bit ahead of myself here, that's the metallic spray paint that I originally was going to use and as I said I got ahead of myself and ended up spraying the whole thing in metallic silver without priming it first and the metallic silver paint just eventually peeled off so I had to wipe it all down, peel it all off and then use the primer spray and then spray it again. Okay guys, that's the bat now primed and ready for painting. I've got a few options. I've got raw umber brown. Burnt umber brown. So I'm going to look at a few reference pictures online, see what colours the best and give it a paint and I'm using a soft bristle brush 
um, hopefully that will ensure there's no bristles strokes when I paint it on so let's get to painting so as I mentioned I looked at a few uh, reference photos found this one here and I thought that would be the best one to use and just looking at the bat I got an idea of what colour I wanted the uh, the wood to be and I'm using a burnt umber brown and a normal umber brown I'm going to mix them both together Okay, that's the back now all painted apart from the top and bottom. I'll do that once it's dried. And what I've done is I've had to tape a bit of paper onto the wall just for it to wear rest against once it whilst it's dry. As I mentioned, I used burnt umber and just normal umber brown, brown paint. Mixed it together, it's giving it a nice dark brown wood effect. Going off the uh, reference pictures off the internet. So I'll just leave that to dry now. And then I've primed the barbed wire using the spray primer. Leave that to dry and then I'll go over it with metallic spray paint and so pretty much, pretty much be done with all the painting side of it it's just a matter of putting the barbed wire onto the bat so as you can see I'm going over the chrome with uh, dark grey alloy wheel spray paint and the reason for that was uh, I thought the chrome spray paint was looking a bit too shiny and too too new for the bad wire, obviously the bad wire is going to be um, warm, so we've gone for the darker grey shade for the, for the bad wire. So as you can see I'm trying super glue to see if it will glue the bad wire onto the baseball bat. Unfortunately it didn't work. The super glue just didn't want to adhere to either the baseball bat or the barbed wire, which is the barbed wire is made out of a kind of rubber material, and when the when I was trying to stick it on, it actually ripped the brown paint straight off and the primer straight off the baseball bat. So eventually, you went for a spray adhesive, which worked fantastic. Stuck it on and stuck it into place. Now Lucy will complete and as I mentioned I used some spray adhesive at the top just to stick the twist at the top. I used a bit of spray adhesive there just so it sticks so I could twist it round and then the rest of it is just isn't stuck on at all it's just wrapped around and then at the bottom using spray adhesive again it's stuck into place there and I'm really happy with the fact that I changed my mind with the chrome and went for the darker grey so that is Lucille now done and as I mentioned in the unboxing video 
The website does do a blue seal back themselves for £35, but if you go this route and make your own, the back cost £8.99, the barbed wire from eBay cost £3, and then, like I say, a couple of pounds for the paints, which are there. I think they were about £3 from a local craft shop. So all in all, if you say if you've got the paints and you don't buy it using 9.99 next day delivery charge that I paid to get the bat straight away, you could probably get make this for under £15, which I think is a bargain. Um, perfect for cosplaying, for conventions as well, and as I mentioned as well, the twists themselves, as you can see there, I've got one spare. They come apart like so and they just clip together so as I mentioned in the video in the tutorial I bought two two lengths of barbed wire I took the twists off and placed them on into into the empty bits just to make it look a bit more dense with the twists and the barbed wires so yeah if you got any questions on how I made this uh, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe I will be doing a reaction video to the pre season 7 premiere of The Walking Dead it'll be one of my first actually re reaction video I'm looking forward to it uh, I have a couple of predictions of who's gonna meet the end of Lucille but uh, <laughs> I've uh, also been trying to avoid all the spoilers on the web on the internet but so looking forward to it don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.